we have to have some kind of continuity plan for these teachings. This esoteric teaching, this consciousness research center. A consciousness research center is like a vehicle for the esoteric teaching. The teaching that can't be spoken, the teaching that can't be taught, really, in any conventional way. But which can be talked about. And the methods and paths can be shared verbally. And that we have done over the past, well, more than 12 years, more like 20 years, uh, very publicly online. So I'm proposing some schemes or some plans to preserve this teaching uh, even after I leave. And that's uh, something I want to discuss with those who are interested, those who want to play an active role, uh, those who want to become perhaps a teacher of this teaching, or those who want to create derivative works from this teaching. And I'm okay with people making money from that. In fact, it, without it, it won't happen. I, you know, I know that. So I'm talking about the creation of some kind of formal structure, either a corporation or some kind of limited partnership or whatever seems to make sense. And this is part of what we have to discuss. And then that will preserve and pass down the teachings to subsequent generations. That's the thing. What we have done, first of all, discovering the ontological foundation of the Vedic teachings in the four states of consciousness, actually led to the direct discovery of the esoteric teaching, which uh, up till then had only been theoretical. But then we could see that this esoteric teaching, this unspoken realization of consciousness was actually the basis of all the teachings, the great teachings of the world. And we proved it by going deep into each one, the Buddha's teaching, the Shakti teaching, and the Shaiva teaching. And then ultimately going into Advaita and Shankaracharya's interpretation of Advaita, Kevala Advaita, and seeing the basis of the whole thing in Brahman. Realization of Brahman as the highest principle of all religion, of all spirituality, irrespective of the particular tools and methods and even the language being used. The ultimate end state or the ultimate goal of all of them is the same. This is the most important principle, and everything follows from it, that we interpret all religious paths and methods as metaphors for something that cannot be symbolized, cannot be talked about. Uh, like Lao Tzu said, those who know do not speak, those who speak do not know. Well, we've spoken several million words <laughs> about this thing that you can't speak about. And, of course, it's true. It can't be spoken directly. But it can be spoken indirectly in the sense of giving you a way to realize it. And if you apply that in actual life, you'll find that you get the result. What a coincidence. So this is about preserving that body of knowledge that leads to the realization of Brahman by the individual. And the practice is the most important thing. So we're going to be creating a few more videos in our time remaining. But really, the bulk of the work that we have to do is to prepare for the transition so that the teaching is not lost, to make it more independent and make it self-supporting so that the technology requirements, the, the data communication requirements, and so on, 
uh, exist there for uh, global availability of the teaching, even after I pass on and go home. Uh, so, I'm creating a special WhatsApp group, which is going to be called the Pro Tem Board of Directors of the Consciousness Research Center. And the Pro Tem's board's task is to determine the nature of the structure to be created and to elect or nominate or recruit <laughs> to form somehow or other the real board of directors. And uh, that that will result in the creation of an entity, probably some kind of corporation, some kind of Delaware Corp or something, that will embody that vision, that mission, and uh, those principles and rules that have been discussed among the pro tem board, and then transferred to the real board in the form of a contract. So then that will, you know, ensure the continuation of the teachings and that everybody involved will get, you know, some kind of a payday, uh, you know, by selling shares or partnerships. I'm not, I'm not sure how to do it. That's what we have to discuss. Should we do it like a regular startup or should we do it some other way, you know? So the link to this group, or to join this group, is in the description of the video. And, of course, before you can join, I'm going to have a conversation with you to determine, you know, if you really belong on this board, this pro tem board. Because probably the members of the pro tem board are uh, the best candidates, or at least the original candidates, for the permanent board once we thrash out what kind of organization to establish. So this is my invitation. This is something that may come, you know, once in a lifetime. This opportunity to be literally the founder of a new religion um, or really a new expression of a timeless religion, which is the esoteric teaching and the consciousness research center. Aung Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum Aum Namah Shivaya